Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You crept up on me. My name's Ian Walsh. Welcome to my manor. Beautiful day today. Here we are on the beautiful north side of Maui in a little town called Haiku. Jaws is about 10 minutes that away. And we're gonna start with my living room and kitchen. Come on in. Shoes off, pants optional. This is the living room and kitchen area. It's kind of both combined in one, best use of space. Coffee table books, one of my favorites is this one, Surface, from Ben Duart, a photographer in Tahiti that takes incredible underwater photography. And on the wall here is probably one of my favorite things in the whole house. This photo was actually a left when he originally took it, but I like the visualization of going right for some reason. Couch, obviously. I don't really sit anywhere else on this thing at all. Stop number one in the morning for me is this coffee machine. Espressos, cappuccinos, latte, whatever you're feeling like, this machine can do it. Mom is incredibly gifted with the ceramics. She makes me these little custom mugs. Each morning, I usually start with a smoothie and a lot of what's on the menu for paella bowls. My brother Luke and I will test stuff and try it at home and eventually that rolls into whatever we settle on really liking and that ends up on the menu at paella bowls. Quarantine, a lot more cocktail hours. Pretty much five o'clock all day long. It's hard to know what time of the day it is and what day it is to begin with in this quarantine. So a lot more cocktails the last couple months than there usually is. I prepped some lunch for today. We're gonna smoke some New York steaks, asparagus, sweet peppers on a Traeger, and then we can go feed the goats when we're down there. This is Sir Douglas here with the horn. Tina there, they don't ever give a how good Jaws is or how tired we are when we come in. They want their oath on time. You'll take note of Sir Douglas's shorts in the back legs there. He's been working on those shorts all winter long and they finally have come together nicely. Goats are fed, a lot happier. Back upstairs. First room is a guest room slash office. This is a workspace here. Lots of sticky pads, ideas, concepts, and to-do list. Behind you here is a picture from Brian Bielman. Awesome visual, Chopo Tahiti. Master bedroom. Pretty damn clean right now. And up top there is a photo that I love to stare at before I go to bed and every single morning. That's standing on a ridge in Alaska facing these incredible spine lines in the Torgillo mountain range. Couple books I'm reading right now. Voyage for Mad Men, incredible sailing book. And I'm really deep into this one right now, Relentless by Tim Grover. He's uh, Michael Jordan's trainer and just a lot of good info on like mindset for pushing yourself way past where you want to be. Out to the deck, Hawaii is great for inside and outside living. Lots of green, ocean on the horizon. Trade winds come little northeasterly, so we get them to kind of blow right through the house and that's what keeps us cool. Now to the little Zen Wellness Center. I have a sauna here. I use this a lot more than I actually thought I might and I feel a lot better when I am. Ow, mother <laughs> I'm doing it. And I couple the sauna with an ice bath and to go with the sauna and the ice machine, a jacuzzi. I don't know, I just feel like the recovery aspect of this little trifecta has really helped me with some big impacts over the last few years. And I use this stuff a lot for preventative medicine to try to be ahead of being really sore and beat up from Serpent Jaws or Nazare or Mavericks or wherever the hell else we're getting pounded. Little Hobie cat here. This is what I've been trying to teach myself how to sail. Maui's challenging because it's so windy all the time that I feel like you're so overpowered in this thing. It's just like tipping over and blowing you all over the place. I have my new quarantine toy, which is a hatchet throwing log. Oh, that was dead center. I'm no good, but it's a fun little activity for the yard. If you have some space, 
in a dead tree somewhere. Into the laboratory. This is my boardroom and where I spend most of my time. Lots of board options, lots of different variety of waves here on Maui. Christensen's, this is a 6-2 I've been liking as a step up. Some Mayhem's on the flat days. I've been loving this little carbon wrap baby buggy. Super fun. Here's one I had my first professional event win at Sunset Beach. Behind that I have pretty special board to me still. I don't know if I'll ever take this out again, but this is a little tow board, a 5-5 that Shane, Dorian, and I rode a good chunk of our waves at Chopo towing in on this thing. Majority of the best waves I've had over years and years were on this little board. This is a board I just took to Nazare, and this thing got smoked while we were there. Waves were absolutely frightening for like 10 days straight. On the shelves here, some trophies over the last couple years, a bunch from the Triple Crown over the years, some from the Surfer Pole Awards over the years, win from a Tavarua event, and this trophy here is from an event that's really special to me, the 2017 event at Jaws. Just felt really connected to my surfboard and had just a really unrushed approach to trying to be in the right place at the right time when waves came. So it's pretty special when things come together like that and I'm stoked that I have a really cool trophy to kind of remember that day by. Up here, all my snowboards. This guy here is pretty special to me. This is the board that I climbed and snowboarded down Denali on last summer. There was a lot of mental and physical barriers that I pushed through on that trip, climbing in something that I was completely out of my comfort zone in. Yeah, have some sentimental value for this one. Through doorway number one here is my gym slash extra board storage. I have a bike here, which I do a ton of cardio on input any type of ride you want to do and this thing simulates everything so i kind of have that going i put surf footage on the tv and i can kind of get through all my cardio workouts and study a lot of footage at the same time board rack full of boards for jaws mavericks and everywhere else over the last 10 years i guess i've been tweaking my boards with christensen and it's really ramped up the last few seasons kind of scary testing equipment when it's that big and high consequence but it is also fun when you start feeling things that you wanted to tweak because you know your mind was going somewhere else on the wave and when those adjustments are made you can kind of have that freedom and responsiveness in the board Black hog. This is a concept Chris and I have been working on for a long time. So it was really fun to actually put this in the water. Chris ended up finalizing with a naval aerodynamic and hydrodynamic engineer. And put her in the water on January 23rd and took her for her first spin. Outside here I pulled out a few boards from up in the rafters that are pretty special to me. I have this one here, which is the first big wave board I got from Chris Christensen and was actually the board that I was able to paddle into my first waves at Jaws on. And it's got such a different outline and feel to it than what we ride now. And next to her, I have the board that I won the Jaws contest on. It's so hard to narrow down your big boards and figure out what works good and what doesn't because you don't get a ton of time on them. And this was something that after explaining to Chris what I was thinking, he was able to take those ideas and then put them into a surfboard and really, really hit it on the head with this one. So here is a flashback to the 90s. This is my first tow board ever and the board that I rode my first waves at Jaws on. You can see in the weight here is some fishing leads and zinger setup, which he borrowed from the design of windsurf boards to handle the speed better. Matt was a pretty progressive thinker and <laughs> sent me on my way to try this out as a really young teenager at Jaws. Done. How good is that? Steak, asparagus, sweet peppers, salt crusted baked potato. Gonna need a serious workout routine after this quarantine's over. I feel like I eat 15 times a day right now. Glad I got to take you guys through my house and we'll see you the next time you're on Maui.